Now this is a CT scan of uh, Kimba's elbow, and we can see here, uh, this is the ulna here and the radius here. And as we move up the ulna and approach the humerus, we can start seeing a bone fragment near the medial coronoid. Now this is the, the fragment of medial coronoid right here. Um, and it's quite a large fragment. And then here we're moving into the distal humeral condyle. Now here we can see degenerative changes uh, in the elbow on the uh, sides of the humeral condyle. Now in the sagittal view, we can see that there's no evidence of incongruency between the radius and the ulna in the elbow joint. Now this is a color volume rendered CT scan of Kimbo's elbow. We can see the extensor carporadialis muscle here, a little bit of the bone showing through here. Now if we uh, remove the muscle, now we can see the medial coronoid fragment right here very clearly uh, on the lateral aspect of the medial coronoid of the elbow. Um, and then if we move that in three dimensions, you can see very clearly that that fragment is present. Now here we can see uh, the needle, which is the egress for the joint, uh, for the arthroscopy. Um, now as we move forward in the joint, we can see the medial coronoid fragment in C2. We then use an 18 gauge needle to establish the separation between the coronoid process and uh, the rest of the normal ulna. After the coronoid fragment is loosened, we go in with grasping forceps and remove the fragment.